Yeah, hello, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the 110. I believe this is a Chinese Tier 8 heavy tank. Um, I may have just gotten it. I'm not sure. I, I don't think I've been playing it very long. And uh, I like these types of tanks. You know, so they're a lot like the Russian tanks. And um, they have nice armor. They tend to have good guns on them. Now, this is going to be a very interesting game. I'm not going to get a lot of kills in this game. But uh, you're going to see a technique that I use very effectively. I'm actually going to do a lot of spotting. There's 15 tanks in this game, and I'm going to spot 12 of them with a heavy tank. And there's people that look at my new meter, and they say that I have sucky kills and all that, and they're just completely wrong. Um, I, get all my, I have double the experience of the average player, even if my, the new meter doesn't take your experience your first spotting into account but my experience is double other players and the reason why is because of spotting and when you spot 12 tanks I'm probably going to get a lot of spotting damage in this game now what I do on this map from the northern team it's more difficult from the southern team I move into this location and I find a bush to hide in and knock down some of these trees because unlike a few years ago you can actually hide in the trees after you knock them down now from here you can shoot down this alley. So any tank that crosses across from here, I'm going to be shooting at. Number two, you can hit tanks that... Look at where the spawn is on the encounter mode. The red spawn is in the southeast. Even the slow tanks and the fast tanks, they're all going to cross through here. And I'm going to see them all cross. You'll see that there's a slope over here. I'm going to see every tank that crosses over here. And unfortunately, I'm not going to take advantage of it. Um, the last thing is you do have some shots over here. Look at the map and look at the line where my gun is pointed. And you can see that it's not the entire southeast, but it's about a third of it. You can't hit the tanks that are over that side of the spawn, but anybody that's over here you can hit. Uh, if you want to hit the tanks that are higher up, you have to expose yourself by going up on the road, and you can also hit the tanks... <coughs> Actually, the tanks that go into town, I don't think you can hit them because of the slope. But this is a very good position. I play it very frequently. If you watch my videos, you'll know that I like to play in the center of the map. <coughs> From the center of the map, you can hit tanks in all directions. And nobody likes to play in the center. It's a very difficult position. If you get spotted, you have to know how to hide. The way you hide on this map is you roll backwards, and you want to zigzag and, and travel laterally, which means... Um, not directly backwards, horizontally, in order to avoid artillery, because if you travel horizontally, they can't aim at you. So you're going to sit here. I made a few mistakes because I haven't played in six months, but that's I missed two tanks that just drove right across. You can see my gun zipped around. You got three more tanks. That was five tanks I could have nailed. <clears throat> What's going to happen is that this guy over here is going to hide behind this mound of rubble. And he's going to be a little bit of a pain, but he's going to take some damage from me. But he is going to survive. So you can see I did, I got a shot in, but I was spotted. You can see that I'm rolling back in the sharpshooter mode because I want to get another shot on him. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Still spotted. Guy missed a shot. Wait a few seconds, move back forward, back into position. Someone hit me. Uh, this type of a tank is going to bounce a lot of shots. And like I said, I haven't played in six months, so I wasted a lot of time <coughs> looking eastwards at tanks that I would never be able to hit. Now that tank is still in front of me, and the tanks on the west are going to start to cross over. Uh, you can see that there's a fast light tank. Uh, what he doesn't know is that I'm watching him. I missed my shot on him, which was unfortunate. That guy, I'm going to take shots at him, but he's going to be difficult. Now watch what this guy does. Okay, number one, he has, I believe it's a T-49, no, it's an M-41 Bulldog. Number one, 
when you drive on the south or the north, the closer you get to the center, the more you're exposed. Like, he can be hit anywhere from any of these tanks. If there were a tank right over here, they'd all be able to shoot across here and hit him. So over here is very dangerous where these roads are. On this other side over here, it's safer. Number two, you want to fire when, he, when he's going far away from you or coming towards you because using the auto aim, you don't have to do the leading shot. When he's going laterally, you increase the chance you're going to miss. <coughs> so when he makes his turn is when you fire. And I fired a little bit early, and I hit him in the engine. That's his third big mistake. He allowed me to hit him in the engine, which is going to set him on fire. And I'm watching him, and I want to. Hit, you notice he's zigzagging. You want to hit him when he's turning on the zigzag. Because when he's doing that, he has a little bit of extra time when my gun is lined up perfectly with him. And that's when you want the shot to go across. So you have to constantly check your map to see what's going on um, where the, um, the center of town is. Because those tanks are always going to try to peep across and you want to be able to get shots in them. And I get tons of shots on tanks crossing over there. So I'm watching the map. You see I just saw a light tank appear. Um, unfortunately, uh, he was gone by the time I could do anything about it. I, have, I try to roll forward to get a shot on that guy. Aim a little bit. That is a KV something. I'm probably going to take another shot at him. Those are difficult. Those are difficult tanks to penetrate. Now people complain about using the auto aim. I always have the auto aim ready, even if I don't use it. I'm constantly turning it on and off. I have it ready so that while he's moving, my gun is always pointed at him. And if something happens to me, where suddenly someone comes in after me, I can move and still take a shot on him. Also, you want your gun pointed over the corner of the tank so that if he shoots back at me, he's going to hit me at an angle. And ideally, more towards the front and less towards the side. Because remember, I do have this tank to worry about still. Okay, so he's gone. Those are difficult tanks to penetrate. And I did move back because I thought I might be spotted. You can see now down the center line that some tanks are starting to come across. And you can see, let's take a look. Look at how far back I went. You can see the bush I was hiding in. You can roll back this far and even a little more and still shoot at those tanks and have cover plus a truck. So over here I'm on the second row of bushes. I've got some cover. I can shoot at those tanks. I'm safe from the tanks in front of me. It's a great spot. Over here, you, you have to be very careful not to hit your ally. Since they're heavy tanks, they're going to be moving more slowly, and you can use the auto aim, but I highly recommend the sharpshooter mode. You'll notice that while, I'll, I'm going to, if you, if you didn't notice it, I'll rewind. I noticed that the angle of my tank was wrong. You see how my gun is pointed? That is not good. You don't want the side of your armor pointing towards those tanks. So watch what I do. I reverse. Move into the bush. Take my shot spin my tank, and look at that, the perfect angle once again. I move my gun at the perfect angle because those guys are shooting back at me. Now I have the best defense when I'm out in the open against those tanks. 
and and if I move backwards to avoid artillery and move back forwards, my gun will still be pointed in the correct position. So I'll have the correct angling. You'll note that there's still one artillery. And I'll probably take a shot on him. Now at this point, I think they're going to cap us. Um, I just, I think I'm going to make a run to try and reset the cap, and I, I wonder if this is the game where it didn't work out, where I got there at the last second, but I'm not sure. Now you'll note on my team, the vast majority of my team are on the east. Um, too many of them are in the south or in the north. <coughs> I don't know who those tanks are in the north, but they're in terrible position. Uh, for example, the one at B3, who knows why he's there. There's no reason for that tank to be there. He's not participating in the game. The one at B1 is not in a good position at all. There's no threat to them. One, I count three tanks on the map. So there's four tanks. I don't know where they are. You know, the artillery obviously is, is in an artillery position. So... I mean, whose fault was it? I, I did the best I could. I was actually covering a portion of the base, but those guys could have done a better job monitoring the base. And we've got so many tanks in the east. Why, why were they there? There could not have been targets for them. There were not enough targets for them in the east. Way too many of them there. And all those medium tanks should be heading towards the cap as quickly as possible. Now, you'll notice that even though I didn't do this on... I might not have done this on purpose. I'm trying to get the uh, view. My computer's really slow. You'll notice that my gun is still aimed over the corner of the tank, which gives me the angling that I need to defend against those tanks as I advance against them. You'll see that I'm advancing with this mound in front of me, which gives me some extra protection against for the tank in front of me. So when you advance, you want to move diagonally when you're advancing against the enemy to give you, you give yourself some angling and you want to head for these mound areas even if you have to cross the street. And maybe even park right here when you take your shot. If you shoot from here, you've got a lot of protection. But obviously if I can't take the shot, I can't do that. Now this is as I played the game, so you can see that I need to hit this tank. I've got my um, gold round. I missed a shot. Horrible accuracy. You'll note that I'm angling again to try and get a better shot. He's going to get nailed. Now this is one of the reasons why you use the auto aim. I can aim for that tank the gun will automatically move to the correct position. And while I'm doing that, I can keep on driving towards that cap. And it's very difficult to do, very difficult to do in sharpshooter mode. And unfortunately, they did cap us. So uh, we didn't win the game. And you can see that my team did advance towards the cap, but um, they didn't do a really good job. Like if you look at C3, the heavy tank either, okay, maybe he was lining up on the column. The medium tank, why didn't he go forward directly south? I don't know. We've got a heavy tank that's still on the east and a tank destroyer that's still on the east. I was maybe the closest tank, and those medium tanks were not able to get any closer. I don't get it. If they, I don't know if, if they were um, wasting their time with some of these other tanks. I have no idea, but the, the team completely failed. We should have won this game. Um, okay, so to recap, I spotted 12 tanks in this game. I had a great position. I got the early spotting in. I probably did a lot of spotting damage. I got uh, seven direct hits. In order to get top EXP, you usually need to get 10 to 13 hits in the game. <coughs> seven means you're going to be in the third position, maybe. Um, I think I played an important role for the team. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the best game. I didn't get a lot of shots in at the cap. And the reason why is because we had an aggressive player who was 
pinning the team back and preventing them from crossing over. And because he did that, you'll see it earlier in the game that there was an ally down the line. Because he did that, the enemy didn't cross over. They didn't fight the battle in, in the uh, middle road, so I didn't have a lot of shots on them. And when they crossed over, they had no opposition. So it was unfortunate that that happened, but if my ally had not pinned them down and, they, and the enemy were trying to cross over, I would have nailed them again and again and again, and they would have had no clue what was going on. Okay, so this is the 110. It's, it's a Chinese Tier 8 heavy tank. The map is Ruinburg. It's also known as Winterburg. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.